Good morning, wonderful world of YouTube. My name's Chris, and y'all tuned in to Motivated Living. Thanks for joining me. It is a Monday morning. Sun's popping up, kinda. There's light in the sky. I don't think we're gonna get too much sun today because it calls for rain. But it's daylight. All right, today, got three fragrances that came since the last video. I'll briefly talk about them. I am decanting these three plus another one for my good friend Mitch. I'm gonna get them sent out to him. I'd like to get them ready today. Uh, apologies for the, the few days off. I don't know how well y'all have paid attention to the background in these recent videos, but I don't know if you noticed now that some things changed. Uh, it was feeling a little cramped and cluttered out here, so I rearranged everything, added some different shelves. Um, actually did the whole room, makes it feel a little more open. And, uh, I still owe y'all a walk around out here. So, Also added a new microphone holder stand so it's not sitting on the desk bumping around as I move. It's up in the air pointing down. So this is a test run. I don't know how good the sound's going to be. We're going to find out. I'm going to upload whatever I have. So my apologies ahead of time because I don't know how this is going to work out. But that's mounted on the desk and then built in as a holder. And of course the ring light's behind it. So trying some new things here. Let's jump right in. What I have today, uh, I got two Manseras that came. These were brand new in box unopened. They weren't testers or anything. And any of y'all who know me and on the channel, I am not opposed to a tester. I have, I think Messedrap was a, is a tester. And speaking of testers, I also am bringing, sorry for all the fingerprints on the bottle. That's just how it's going to be. I'll wipe it off when I'm done. It's bond number nine, Chez. Um, now the two Manseras came from uh, jomashop.com. I bought them. I bought them. You know, these. This isn't a sponsored video. It's sponsored out my own pocket. You know, <laughs> uh, but I bought them. I think roughly about eighty-ish. I think one was seventy-nine. One was eighty-four. They both have caps. I took this off. I am actually wearing the Soleil de Itali. Today is a scent of did it the day. Um, I don't know, trying to wrap my brain around it and how I feel. I've, you know, I've yet to determine that. Uh, the bond number nine came from Aura Fragrance. As you see, again, it is a tester. It came in a, a plain brown box, no cap. Same glorious juice. I'll tell you a little bit about this. Um, out of the three, this is my favorite of them, of this pickup. Uh, Soleil d'Italie. Came out in 2019. It is a floral woody. Just the notes I wrote down on this. This isn't a review. Uh, top notes bitter orange, lime, calabrian, bergamot, mandarin orange, cardamom, pink pepper. Your mid or your heart. Watery notes, Bulgarian rose, patchouli leaf. With base notes being white musk, ambergris, vetiver, cedar, and guyaquid. Uh, it's only received a 3.91, a 5 on the Fragranica scale. This bottle has the old school screw on cap. The newer bottles have the magnetic tops. This one over to my left actually is. I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, it's a softer fragrance from them. Um, a lot of the Mancera line are pretty loud and, you know, they put a lot of bass in their voice. Um, this reminded me of my impression when I got the Initio Must Therapy. It's like, to this day, is the safest one of their fragrances I've smelled. And by safe, I mean, it's just not loud. And that's how I feel about this. Uh, first day when it came in, she smelled where I sprayed, because I tried all three of them at once. That just, I don't know, opened up the mail, like, I, well, I'm anxious to smell all these. So I did. This was her favorite out of them. Uh, didn't bother her nose. She didn't say it was too strong. Just a pleasant fragrance. And it lasts, uh, I don't know. Not, uh, 
it, it, it lasts, but me, I, I like a louder, kind of like the opening of it, um, of any of them, where I can just smell the intensity out the gate. So I spray it often, and I'm going to do so today. This is already my second time putting it on. I read in some one of the comments on Fragranica, where somebody was rating it or whatever, they said uh, it was like a light blue pour on the Dolce & Gabbana. I don't know where they got that from, personally. But it kind of does have a, a light blue fragrance kind of smell to it. But that's all I'm going to talk about on that one. So I'm going to move forward. I'm just covering a little bit of ground kind of fast. It's Aqua Wood by Mancera. And I believe that was a 2020 release. It received a 3.94 out of 5. Uh, an Amber Floral by Pierre Montal. A lot of y'all should probably know. If not, Montal, Mancera. They're, you know, they're the same, but they're not, you know. Uh, but being a blue bottle, I really expected this to be a loud blue fragrance. Their last, uh, I don't think it was in a blue bottle. What I'm talking but I, I had um, Wave Musk. And, you know, for like one of their summertime ones. Uh, this one almost gives me more of a feminine type vibe, if I remember correctly. Well, um, I'm not going to put this on, but that's what I get to. It says top notes are pear and citruses. I definitely get the pear in the top, like right off the gate. And it's not a loud pear like... um. Perfecto, uh, what was that house, Gallagher? Whew, that was a beast. You know, so when I think of pear, fra a pear fragrance, I, I think of that one comes to mind. You can detect it in this, but it's nowhere near for anybody who's familiar with that fragrance. It's, it's not the same. Definitely not the beast mode. Incredible Hulk juice. <laughs> Mid is Indian ginger, Turkish rose, patchouli leaf, and then your base note is benzoin, amber incense, amber incense, and white musk. Um, I'm still debating. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. My wife didn't like the opening at all. She hurried up, pulled her nose back. It's not what I expected out of aqua and wood, uh, the name. It definitely threw me through a loop. Very good chance I'll be decanting about half of both of these bottles out, uh, if not a little more. Though if anybody's interested, uh, probably doing like twenty dollars ship within the U.S. Buy a couple of them, might do you know ten mils of each one for thirty bucks or something for you. If y'all are interested in getting your nose on them, cheap little ten mil bottles. I already made, uh, printed out some labels for them, put on the bottles. Um, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I still got to laminate them. Whatever. I ran out of the actual size labels, so I had to use my shipping labels. <laughs> and they printed off center, so then I got to trim them, laminate them, and stick them to the bottles. Now, last but not least, again, my favorite of the three pickups. It's bond number nine. Chez uh, came out in... 2003. That's right, it's a classic. <laughs> uh, 4.13 out of 5 on Fragranica. Not sure why it rated so low. Um, atomize on the bond of 9. It's going to mix with my scent of the day. <laughs> Which I don't mind. I don't know why I waited so long to get this one. Because uh, it's been on my radar for a while. Very highly spoken of. Green Irish Tweed, Refined. Some people like the loud opening of, of the GIT, which I do too. I like the opening of the majority of fragrances. That's kind of the deal thing for me. Um, but instantly I spray this on, 100% I get a smoother, you know, like they just took the rough edges off on the opening of the Green Irish Tweed. Would I reach for this one over the GIT? Yes, 
uh, and there's more than one reason. <laughs> the first reason is my green Irish tweeds low. I'm probably down in my bottle like 20 mmls. Uh, this is a brand new full bottle. I got plenty, <laughs> so I can spray away. And I get the same same vibe. It, it's almost identical on the scent. There's not nothing. There was nothing giving the notes away where I looked. So I just leave it at that. If you want to know the notes uh, to get close, look up the Green Irish Tweed or the old school Davidoff Cool Water because that's what this is right here. So, I'm also decanting this guy too. So, man, that's what I do. A lot of y'all know, and several y'all watching have gotten decants or bottles from me. So that's just what I do. And I'm going to be decanting for him so he can smell this uh, El Jaramain Amber Oud. I picked this up. This was uh, in, I think, my first video from the, the new house. It is, uh, I don't have any notes on it either, so. I'm still out to, to lunch on this one, too. I mean, I like it. This is one of them fragrances to me. Um, I'll have to look what channel. I was just watching a video that popped up on my feed. And uh, so I watched the video. I'll try to see if I can figure out, like, go through my history. And I'll give you the channel name, who I got this from. But he popped up in my notifications, like a top something video. So I checked it out. And by the way, I am going to be doing a top blah, blah, blah video. I just can't wrap my head around how to do it yet. I don't know if it's going to be like my top so many for summer, so many for nights, so many for... Uh, but just because it's been requested. So I'm going to be bringing some, some favorites. I'm just trying to map it out in my head how I'm going to do that because that's not an easy task when you've got a ton of bottles okay what's your top five out of them 200 bottles or so but this one when I first started my fragrance journey I would spray one on if I didn't like it like right away I'd probably get rid of them like right away I've learned over doing that and then rebuying them later because I smelt it <laughs> give it another shot put it put it away for a while some fragrances just need to be sprayed and then put away anyway and then you, you revisit them X amount of days later or a month or two or like, oh, wow. So this is kind of, it's not, oh, wow me yet, but I've put it on more than once trying to give it chances. You know, uh, my wife didn't like it. The only, uh, only reason she really complained one day though was because I kept spraying different ones on. Yeah, it was one of them days, so. I was, I had to sit in the corner for that day and stay away. Uh, she finally told me, quit spraying them. Uh, it's said to be a clone of Zerjoff Herba Pura or Pura uh, Herba Pura. I've sold a few of them bottles, but I've yet to smell it. So I don't know I'm making that comparison. Maybe one day I'll open one up for personal uses and decanting rather than just sales. Time will tell. Uh, so it's loud. It lasts long. Definitely gives you a huge scent bubble. It's loud. Um, that hair mean. But I'm going to send that to Mitch as well. That's all I got for y'all. I appreciate y'all stopping by. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, if you're interested in any of these, send me a message. Most of y'all know how to get a hold of me in Messenger. So PM me. However, uh, toy of the day. Jiminy Cricket. I took this fun cold pop out of the box. Uh, easier to see. I I took a lot more of them out of the box, honestly. If I go to ever sell them later or whatever, what's the point? Enjoy them, you know. Some are collectibles for resale, and some are just stuff I bought to buy. To buy, so that's really it. But Jiminy Cricket, let your conscience be your guide. That's always helped me with, on my little internal gearing to always listen to my gut. You know, as a person, we know if it's right or wrong. So it, it's good to keep that voice turned on and then be about to write. You know, got to square your actions. Uh, so that's it. Much love, y'all. Thank you so much for stopping by. I look forward to having y'all hang out with me again soon. Uh, any other channel suggestions, recommendations, anything y'all would like to hear about, feel free to drop it in the comments. I'm not, you know, one of them YouTubers that doesn't have time. I respond to everybody unless they don't give me the message. And months later, I find it was withheld by YouTube or whatever. So 
Much love, y'all. Thanks. Have a great day. Peace.